Although the world recognizes the first tank as being invented by the British, the concept of a tank was already quite common in Europe at the time. Everyone wanted to create a land vehicle that combined mobility, firepower, and protection, but they were all a bit clueless about what kind of structure would be most suitable. Russia was also one of the earliest countries to develop tanks, with the well-known design of the Tsar tank with huge wheels, and the Vezdikod as another lesser-known small tank. The name Vezdikod roughly translates to all-terrain vehicle. It was designed by the young aircraft designer Porokovskikov, who proposed the idea of building a tank in 1914 and began the preparatory work in 1915 before conducting the first test drive on a hard road surface on May 18 of the same year. The Vezdikod tank was only 3.6 meters long and designed for a single person. It had a welded metal frame with a wide rubber and fabric track at the bottom, with the drive wheel located at the rear and the front half of the track raised, enabling it to navigate complex terrain. There was a small diameter wheel on each side of the track. The tank was powered by a 10-horsepower two-cylinder gasoline engine, which drove the drive wheel through a mechanical structure. The designer envisioned that when driving on the road, the small wheels on both sides would slightly lift the front part of the track off the ground, allowing the tank to travel like a reverse tricycle. Steering was achieved by twisting the two small wheels. When off-roading, the front track could also make contact with the ground to enhance its ability to navigate rough terrain. The driver had an independent seat and controlled the tank through a steering wheel. The prototype tank had riveted armor plates for protection, and the designer's vision also included a small rotating turret equipped with a water-cooled machine gun as the main weapon, with the driver responsible for both driving the tank and operating the weapon. During testing, it was found that the prototype tank had excellent road speed, reaching a maximum road speed of 40 versts, approximately 42.6 km per hour, and could overcome obstacles up to 0.75 meters high. However, it had a major problem with its steering structure. While the small wheels performed well on hard road surfaces, allowing the tank to steer easily, they were ineffective during off-road maneuvers and often got stuck in the mud. Perhaps due to its perceived impracticality, Russia abandoned the Vezdikod tank in 1916, without giving the designer more time to optimize the design, and the prototype vehicle was not preserved, leaving only a few unclear photographs.